We need to figure out how to design our new view controller, where we're going to be able to add space objects to our project. As we always do when we are programming, let's break up this task into smaller, more manageable tasks. Let's drag out a new UI view controller from our object library into our storyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shift up our first two view controllers so we can add a third view controller underneath it. And we'll go ahead and add that below. And I'm going to drag this like so. So we see that we now have three view controllers. And our table view controller will be able to transition to all three view controllers depending on the action we take on our current view. Well, let's add some of the views that we need in, onto our new view controller. So what we're going to need is we're going to need an add button as well as a cancel button. So let's drag some UI buttons onto the screen. Specifically, we need two of these. Now let's go ahead and update the title for each one of our buttons. So let's call our first button cancel. And we can call our second button add. And let's go ahead and adjust the background color. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to change the background color for cancel to red. Now let's choose this red. And I'm going to choose the background color for add to be green. And let's also update some of the attributes on these buttons. So I'm going to change the text color to white for both of them as well. And I also think that we could uh, make the font a little bit better. So I'm going to make this 20. And I can go ahead and enlarge this as well. And let's make this 20 as well. And let's enlarge this button as well. And I can drag this out like so. So now I have two buttons and I have a cancel and an add button. When I press the add button, I'll be able to add a new um, planet object to my project. And when I press the cancel button, we'll just leave the screen and we won't do anything at all with the information that we add. So the next thing, in order to enter information into our project, we're going to have to add some text fields. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and we're actually going to add six different text fields. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge these text fields so the user has some more space to type in the information that they need. So we get text field three here. And if you don't like dragging these in, you can actually copy and paste them. Uh, command C and Command V, but I'm almost there. So I'll just finish uh, dragging these in here. So that's text field four, five, and six. And I'm going to go ahead and move these up a little bit as well, so just, just to make sure we have enough space to add, get all of the information here properly. So let's size these up. Notice that these blue guiding lines are really helpful to get everything sized evenly. And I'm also going to drag up my cancel and my add button here, um, just so that you know it, we have enough space so that when we start typing into our text field, uh, the keyboard that pops up won't hide our buttons. We want to make sure that we're still able to see our buttons as well as the text fields when I start tapping on my keyboard and the keyboard comes up. Um, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be able to actually interact or manage this view controller. So we need to create a new file to manage this project. So we're going to go to File, New File, and we're going to choose iOS Cocoa Touch Objective C Class when you press Next. And we're going to make this a subclass of UI view controller since we dragged a new UI view controller object onto our storyboard. And we can call this OW add space object view controller. We can press next and press create. So let's go back to our storyboard and let's update the class that manages this view controller in the identity inspector. So I'm in the identity inspector and I'm going to start typing in ow add space view controller space object view controller we can hit enter and now our view controller class or specifically our ow add space object view controller class manages this view controller on my view so i'm gonna be able to write code inside of that class to update this ui and as well as to access information from this ui like when i'm pressing buttons as well as what information is actually inside of my text field
So we are going to have to hook up all these different text fields and UI buttons to our header file. Before that, let's add some placeholder text to our text fields so it'll be easier to name all these text fields differently so that we'll be able to differentiate between them in code. First, let's name our first text field and we're going to go to placeholder text and we're going to simply type name. Uh, the second one, we'll call this nickname. And the third one we'll call diameter. Oh, no, I didn't select placeholder text here, diameter. And the fourth one we'll call temperature. And the fifth one we'll call number of moons. And in our sixth text field, we're going to enter in an interesting fact about our space object. Great, now we can hook up all of our UI view objects to our header file. So holding down the Alt key, let's press an OW add space object view controller.h to open up the related header file uh, or view controller that will manage this view controller on our storyboard. And let's start with our properties. So we're going to go ahead and add a few returns in our header file here. And let's control drag from the name text field into our header file. We're going to make this an outlet. We call this name text field. And let's hook up our nickname text field next. So we can say nickname text field. And again, notice storage type strong, UI text field, outlet. You're going to want to make sure you're using the same type of uh, connections here. And let's hook up a diameter next uh, text field. And let's hook up a temperature text field next. And let's hook up the number of moons text field after. And for the text fields, finally, let's hook up the interesting fact text field. We also need to hook up our cancel and our add buttons. So let's go ahead and hook up our cancel button first. So we can drag in, we can say cancel button press. And let's make this type UI button. And we're going to make sure this is an action. Our event type is going to be touch up inside. And our argument is going to be sender. And let's hook up our add button next. Uh, we're going to make sure this is an action. So we'll say add button pressed, and we'll make this type UI button, and we'll make this touch up inside, and our argument will be sender again. So there's one final thing that we want to check here, or set up, and that's we want a nice background for our view controller here. Now, rather than doing this graphically, we can actually do this in code, and we're actually going to do this in the view to load method. So let's go to OW add space object view controller.m. We're going to go back to single view here. And before we start doing this, we just want to make sure that we have the orion.jpg file. It should have been included in your planets images that you downloaded and hopefully you added it. If not, I recommend you do that. And we're just going to go ahead and write some code in view did load. So we're going to write UI image, ima or orion image, is equal to UI image, image named, and we're going to use the JPEG we just saw, which is orion.jpg. Next, we want to set our background color. So we know when we drag in view controllers into our storyboard, all view controllers that we drag into the storyboard automatically come with a view attached to them. And we can access that view inside of our view controller using the self keyword. So we can simply type self.view. Now, views have a background color that we were able to set before. But we can also set this in code. So we're going to write self.view.background color is equal to UI color, color with pattern. And color with pattern takes an argument that's of type UI image. So we can say Orion image. So in order to test this, let's go back to our storyboard and let's find our arrow here. 
and we can actually zoom out to move this a little bit easier so we can see both of these at the same time. And when I zoom back in here, we can see that my white arrow is now next to this uh, OW add space object view controller. So now when I run my computer program, my view will start here instead of starting in my navigation controller. And this is useful because I, I haven't connected up this view controller to all of the segues in my application yet, but I just want to test to make sure this view works properly. So let's go ahead and run our application. Uh, and if you get that springboard error, sometimes that just happens. The simulator gets a little glitchy. So you can just close out of your simulator and rerun your application. And we see that now I have this Orion space image in the background. And all my text fields and buttons are showing up properly. So while this looks really cool, there's one additional little change we could make to make this look even cooler. So let's go back to our storyboard and we're going to select our text fields here. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to change the alpha similar to what we did in the pirate assignment so that these will be somewhat transparent. Uh, so let's set our alphas in, for all of these to 0 0.5 and let's see, 0 0.5, 0.5. Zero point five and zero point five, and alpha is just simply a property that all objects that inherit from UI view have. It's simply transparency, and an alpha of zero means that it's completely translucent, like glass. While an alpha of one means that it's opaque. So by setting it to zero point five, we're somewhere in between. And if we rerun our application here we'll see that now we get to see part of the background through these UI text fields and they nicely grade and we can see some of these stars as well. So our application looks much cooler with this transparency.